Hello, I'm Amy Jansen, one of the librarians here at Bewley Library. Today I'm going to talk about AI research tools and citations and what every student needs to know when using AI tools like ChatGPT for research. Students have come to us on wild goose chases, searching for article titles that seem very legitimate but are nowhere to be found. Sometimes they're published in real journals and by real authors in the field, but the problem is this, they don't exist. It took some digging and guilty confessions to understand that students have found these articles and books by asking ChatGPT. Let me first say that there's nothing wrong with using ChatGPT or other AI research tools. They can be very helpful. The important part is knowing when and how to use them, for what purpose, and in what circumstances. AI models such as ChatGPT have been known to fabricate or hallucinate citations. These citations may sound legitimate and scholarly, but they're not real. The problem arises because these AI models are trained on a vast data set of internet sources, so their core strength lies in recognizing language patterns, not in reading and analyzing lengthy scholarly texts. So the responses they generate, generate are only as good as the quality of input data that they've been trained on. This issue of AI-generated falsehoods is becoming increasingly concerning with the rise of Gen AI tools. These tools have made it easier than ever to produce content, making it harder to tell what is factual and what is not. While AI models like ChatGPT can be useful for generating ideas for related concepts, terms, and words about a particular topic, they have limitations when it comes to generating accurate and reliable citations. Always verify article or book titles that are mentioned either in Southern Search or Google Scholar. If you have sources that you found with an AI tool that look good but you're not sure how to check that they're authentic, please just ask a librarian. We're happy to help. Librarians are available in chat from our website or in Bewley Library first floor next to the IT help desk. Here's an example from a prompt or a question or instruction that you ask of, a of an AI tool of ChatGPT 3.5, the free version. So here, here you're going to see that some of the article titles exist, but they have different authors. Others have incorrect publication dates listed. And that last article does not actually exist, although the author does actually publish in this topic and field. So only one of the five sources is real and includes correct information. One in five, just want to stress that. That's not a good number. Here's another example. This is from Microsoft Copilot. So this is another AI tool using GPT-4. So it's a little bit more advanced than ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version. Microsoft Copilot is available to users who create an account for free. So you see my prompt. And in addition to several paragraphs of text, Copilot cites 15 web sources. None of these are actually scholarly or peer reviewed, but also note that we didn't add peer reviewed in the prompt. So again, you'll see that prompts are important. Another example, and this one is of ChatGPT 3.5. The good news here is that ChatGPT avoided citing any articles, acknowledging that it cannot access external databases. The bad news is that ChatGPT is not helpful in this type of research. So stick to other research tools for this sort of thing. Here's the final example from Microsoft Copilot. The results are better here, although not all five sources are peer reviewed articles, but at least the citations are correct. ChatGPT does not have the ability to match relevant sources to any given topic. It may do fine with some topics or sources, but it might also fabricate sources that don't exist. So my advice would be to not ask ChatGPT, Bing, Copilot, or Gemini, for example, for a list of sources on a particular topic. Although newer models, GPT 4.0 up, are improving the reliability of cited sources, they may still generate false ones. So just as you can't make up sources to use in your papers or bibliographies, you cannot cut and paste sources suggested by AI research tools without proper verification. You, as the author, are ultimately responsible for any information you include in your writing. If you want to rely on AI research tools that will lead you to authentic and scholarly sources, try instead Perplexity AI, Illicit, Consensus, or Semantic Scholar. Most of these will require that you create an account to search, and some will offer free searching with limits. 
with more expanded access being offered with paid subscriptions. But also keep in mind that access, terms, and conditions for AI, AI research tools are rapidly changing. So be aware that much could change after this video was created in May of 2024.